It's the summer of 2001. <laughs> Joe meets Patrick, and he's like, yo, I know about music. And Patrick's like, yo, I know more about music. That's impossible. Do you want to start a band? And Patrick's like, yeah, that's cool. And then he's like, yo, this is a bookstore. It's not a music store. And then they met at Patrick's house. So Patrick's wearing shorts and socks and a hat. <laughs> Patrick is playing drums for some fucking reason. And Pete's there for some reason. They start playing music together. And they're like, oh, let's play some fucking covers from some other bands. It was like Green Day and fucking Misfits and fucking Ramones. Pete said to Joe, yo, we got to change this shit up. <laughs> yo, we played all these bands. Let's play Ship and Fall Out Boy. And so Pete and Patrick are like, yo, that's dope. But we need a fucking drummer. Because Patrick's playing drums and he's a singer. Patrick's like, yo, I got a soul voice. And they're like, wait, how do you have a soul voice? And he's like, yo, watch this. Yeah! And they're like, oh my God, that sounds like soul. So they put it in the song. It was like, where is your boy tonight? <laughs> and then they're like, yo, that's fucking perfect. This is Fall Out Boy. And they made records like Evening Out With Your Ex-Girlfriend. Evening Out With Your Ex-Girlfriend. Everybody loves it. It's called Evening Out With Your Girlfriend. With Your Ex-Girlfriend. It's called Evening Out With Your Ex-Girlfriend. Yeah. It's called Evening Out Your Girlfriend. And it's real. And it's real and it doesn't matter. <laughs> and Pete talked to Patrick and Joe and he was like, yo, what the fuck? Yo, this is gonna be fucking dope. So they made a record and it was called Take This To Your Grave. They made it without a drummer. And they had like three, four drummers come in. The four drummers that had come in were like, Josh Freeze, Neil Peart, the dude from Toto. The fourth one was like the guy from like Papa Roach or something. Okay. And they're like, yo, we need Andy Hurley. Andy Hurley, take it to your grave. Fucking record it. And he did it, and he killed it. And he was like, <laughs> killing the skins, yeah. tapping the skins, tapping the rim, playing the shit, yeah. killing these bitches, rapping it out. You're gonna fucking take it out! What the fuck is going on? We should get signed to Fuel by Ramen, because these guys know what the fuck is going on. And they're like, yo, if you can make our scene any bigger than it is, which is not fucking hard, <laughs> we will sign you guys. He was like, yo, we got this record that's fucking dumb, dude. It's called Take It Stupid. It's called From Under the Court Chase and fucking huge. And then Patrick's like, I gotta keep it real. I gotta keep it artistic. <laughs> These are three songs that are gonna make the album. It's called... <coughs> this is called Thanks for the Memories. $20 Nosebleed. And Sugar, We're Going Down. And they made this record that was fucking dope. And it fucking hit on the charts. Like, one, two, three. Three, two, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten to one. From Under the Court Chase sold like four million records. Ten million records. Fifteen million records. And Brendan Gary had nothing to do with the entire record. And Patrick was like, let's go. He was like, yo, fuck you, I can do whatever I want. Joe was like, yeah, it's cool, man, whatever, I don't give shit. And then Andy was like, eh, cool. And Pete was like, makeup is fucking great for a guy. Because it makes a guy look beautiful. Which a lot of times, a guy is not beautiful. And I want to change that. I want to make sure that everybody thinks that guys are beautiful. I'm good so far. Yeah, I do. Yeah, it's gonna be fucking dope. 